Happy Game Day, Railers fans. It's time for another episode of Railers Rundown. I'm Tim Foley. Well, the Worcester Railers picked up a big two wins this past weekend over the Trois Revere Lions and the Maine Mariners. It started with a 3-1 win on Friday night and followed up with a 6-3 win on Saturday night. The most goals a Railers team has scored in a game all season long. I took the time today to catch up with Railers forwards Dalen Kiefler and Ashton Calder on today's episode of Railers Rundown. Standing alongside Railers forward Dalen Kiefler. Dalen, you're a couple of games in now here to your first pro season with the Railers. Just talk about how you've been feeling these past couple of games. Yeah, I think it took a couple of games to kind of get my legs under me, get get used to the speed, get used to playing against uh, a little bit bigger guys. But um, our, us and ourselves, we're starting to find our stride as a group here, so it's been good. Uh, you had a big breakout game on Saturday night. You scored your first professional goal as well as your second professional goal. Just talk us through those moments. Yeah, those were a couple early Christmas presents. Uh, I didn't have to do much on either of them, but um, it was it felt good to to put one in. I, it's been a long long wait coming here, so those two felt good. You've been playing on the line with Ashton Calder and Jake Pavanka. Talk about how it's felt skating with those guys. Yeah, they're good players. They're. Uh, they're smart. Both guys are real able to make a difference on the ice anyway, so um, it's been easy to play with them. And then you guys are facing off against Maine again tonight, another 5.05 start time. First off, just talk about that 5.05 start time. How's that compared to a, a 7 o'clock start time otherwise? Yeah, a little bit shorter nap is about all, so uh, just got to make sure you're ready for puck drop and a um, couple hours earlier, but it's the same game at the end of the day. And then the key to beating Maine again here tonight. I think do the same thing we did. Our uh, four check was good. Our defensive zone, we, we shut it down when we had to, and I think we're going to have to do that again tonight. Railers forward, Dalen Keeveman. Thanks, Dalen. Thank you. Standing alongside Railers forward, Ashton Calder. Ashton, a big 6-3 win on Saturday, two wins on the weekend. Just talk about how the team's feeling right now. Uh, we're feeling good. I mean, obviously, it's nice to get those two before break, and then hopefully we can roll over into uh, the second half of the season here. Uh, what would you say contributed to the team's wins this past weekend the most? Um, I'd say just effort. I think that was a big part of it. We talked about it before and kind of winning battles and playing with uh, pace and, and effort, yeah. Now, you had a three-point night, three assists on the evening. Talk about how that game went for you on Saturday night in that 6-3 win over Maine. Yeah, uh, it was good. Um, we our, our line was doing pretty well. We had some power play chances, and then we Dalen got his first one there, so that was cool. And then, yeah, just trying to make plays as much as I can. And then just talk about the way the defense has played these past few games, helping give you guys a chance to win. Yeah, they've been playing really well. They, uh, they've been shutting things down early and getting the puck up the ice as quick as possible. I think that's the biggest thing that we talked about. So I think uh, they're doing a good job at that and just keeping it simple. And then last thing, key here tonight to beat Maine one more time and wrap up this Home for the Holiday series with a win. Sticking to it and knowing how we play. That's pretty much it, working hard and uh, sticking to know we know it works. So. Railers forward, Ashton Calder. Thanks, Ashton. Thank you. That does it for today's episode of Railers Rundown. Puck drop between the Worcester Railers and the Maine Mariners coming up at 5.05 p.m. If you can't catch the game live here at the DCU Center, be sure to tune in on Flow Sports and on 98.9 Nash Icon, the Worcester Railers Radio Network.